So in this video, we want to learn this term accelerated hypertension or malignant hypertension, both are same. So what are the terms accelerated or malignant hypertension? That is the hypertension which rapidly uh, becomes more. <clears throat> okay, so it's a complication of hypertension, you can say. In the exam, how will they ask you? They will ask you uh, accelerated hypertension or they will ask you malignant hypertension or they will ask you the effect of this on kidney. Remember, okay. So, uh, you should know this uh, for exam. So, uh, basically some people who have uh, hypertension, their uh, uh, systolic and diastolic may suddenly rapidly increase, okay. So, uh, this can lead to renal failure and retinal hemorrhage, uh, etc. So, remember, a kidney and eyes are affected. So, this is, um, which condition are we talking about? Accelerated hypertension or uh, malignant hypertension, okay. Mainly this much you remember. So, uh, because of this um, uh, retinal uh, problem, they will have retinopathy, which is uh, grade 3 or grade 4. Proteinuria, that is the kidneys are affected. They can have hypertensive encephalopathy. Left ventricle failure also may occur if it is not treated. Okay. So, basically why is all this happening? That you should understand. That is the pathogenesis. Right. What is happening exactly? So, the uh, arterioles uh, are affected. Microvascular damage is happening. Okay. So, what are the words you will write? Necrosis in the walls of small arteries and arterioles. This is called as fibrinoid necrosis. So, arterioles are having what? Fibrinoid necrosis. This you have to write in your exam. This can lead to thrombosis, intravascular thrombosis. So, where are arterioles? Here. <coughs> here you have the arterioles, right? So, the artery is becoming arterioles. Here, here. So, that is having... Um, um, what is it having? Fibrinoid necrosis. So, necrosis, which color shall we use? Necrosis is there and th uh, that will lead to thrombosis. Okay. So, this is because of this malignant hypertension. Microvascular damage. This you should write. Directly, they are showing you the kidney. This looks like a glomerulus to me. So, fibrinoid necrosis they are showing here of afferent arteriole. That is the one that is entering the uh, uh, glomerulus. Right, so they are saying fibrinoid, fibrinoid necrosis of afferent arterial. So this is the change in the kidney, remember. And then they are showing some onion skin uh, lesion in this diagram. Onion skin lesion. Um, I am seeing that here. I am thinking that this is onion skin lesion. Um, <coughs> that is the hyperplastic arteriolitis. Some kind of an inflammation of your arteriole. Okay, so that is the onion skin lesion. So where will you find? Onion skin lesion, onion skin lesion, where will you find onion skin lesion? You will see <coughs> in the arterioles, in uh, malignant hypertension, uh, in the arterioles, okay? So, these are concentric, concentric circles, it looks like um, something like this, this, this. These are concentric, right? They have a common center, concentric uh, laminated thickening of the wa walls and luminal narrowing uh, of these arterioles, okay? So, uh, the lamination consists of smooth muscle cells with thickened reduplicated basement membranes, fibrinoid deposits, necrosis. Fibrinoid necrosis was the word that they used, particularly kidney affected. Okay. And what else they told you? Eyes, retina. Okay. So, pathogenesis you have understood. So, you can also see it in um, this malignant hypertension, accelerated hypertension can happen in uh, pregnant women also because they will have... Uh, um, gestational hypertension, preeclampsia, eclampsia. So, preeclampsia is associated with proteinuria, eclampsia, they will have seizures. So, they can also go into this uh, accelerated malignant hypertension, remember. So, that is why you should always check their eyes also, retinopathy and all you have to check. So, kidney failure also can occur because of this malignant accelerated hypertension. Just now you saw why, because of that uh, afferent arteriole that is going into the glomerulus has this uh, necrosis, right? The lumen is narrow, etc. I mean, encephalopathy also told no, they told no, see in this they have given all that, uh, the pressure is uh, more in this arterial looks like, so there is uh, brain affected, eyes affected, kidney affected, mostly these three only they are talking about, right, little more about kidney you see of because they have asked that in the exam, so there will be fibrinoid necrosis, this word you will write in the exam, you are very smart, you will write fibrinoid necrosis, then uh, what else you will write, thrombosis, this word we saw, then there can be a renal failure, very good. Then you will see that there is no specific glomerular change. This is what the Robbins pathology textbook says. So, we will go with this. Okay. But there will be proteinuria, right? This person will be losing protein in the urine. Okay. Then, um, some more things they have written. Why does it happen? Acute kidney injury, malignant hypertension. Okay. 
then we are calling this as <coughs> accelerated nephrosclerosis did you use the word sclerosis anywhere till now did you use they have used this arteriosclerosis word here so i think sclerosis is a word that we are using people now we have come to the treatment okay now we will focus on the treatment of this malignant hypertension everybody will say you just reduce the blood pressure very smart you are so basically there will be um, these people will be previously hypertensive patients okay there could be they could be pregnant also uh, with pre eclampsia eclampsia etc and it uh, very rarely in normal tensive people that they will go into sudden uh, uh, increase in blood pressure like this so our treatment what they are saying is uh, don't reduce uh, it um, uh, the bp too quickly you just do a controlled reduction in 1 to 2 days that is 24 to 48 hours uh, you just reduce the blood pressure to uh, 150 by 90 mm of mercury which is the borderline for your hypertension correct 150 by 90 mm of mercury correct <clears throat> so you will just try to reduce and that too you know what they are saying so this is not an emergency situation according to them i am feeling they just asking you to reduce the blood pressure which is rapidly increase by itself but don't rapidly reduce it they are saying and in this you can give bed rest and oral drug therapy is sufficient okay only if that doesn't work they i think they are talking about lebetalol glycerol trinitrate hydrolazine etc okay but mainly what you have to remember is oral drug therapy is enough okay this is not and that kind of a emergency is what i'm thinking okay so um <clears throat> so you have to do blood pressure control that is the treatment so you will give oral therapy basically then um, that's it so that is it about uh, malignant hypertension now let us take a, a recap okay accelerated hypertension they can ask in the exam malignant hypertension they can ask in the exam they can also ask you the changes that are happening to the kidney okay because of uh, this uh, accelerated hypertension or malignant hypertension remember both are same so <clears throat> basically this will re lead to re renal failure retinal hemorrhage okay are you able to see it will mostly lead to kidney and eyes okay eyes are affected right that you should that much you understood then um, and and then uh, it can also lead to encephalopathy touch your brain and say okay three things that you will say uh, this affected the head the that is the encephalopathy the eyes and then your kidney okay left ventricular failure also they are telling if uh, uh, if it uh, can affect if it can affect so basically what is the problem happening the problem is happening to the arterioles that you should remember arterioles so here you have necrosis in the arterioles there is microvascular damage microvascular means arterial only so there is damage to that there is fibrinoid necrosis dead tissue uh, developing uh, uh, there and uh, uh, thrombosis can happen okay so basically what will happen if arterioles are not affected you can understand the kidney and all has this microvasculature right so the kidney gets affected mainly here they will in the exam they talk about kidney so here you can see the glomerulus here you can see some um, uh, afferent arteriole that is carrying the blood into the um, uh, kidney right so here you can see some onion peel no no skin onion skin appearance some concentric rings kind of a thing they are saying so this is the hyperplastic arteriolitis they are also using the word arteriosclerosis fibrinoid necrosis etc okay so in necrosis remember you have studied a lot of type of necrosis in um, uh, uh, basics of uh, pathology i'm thinking so this is the fibrinoid necrosis okay then <clears throat> um so then coming to which skin onion skin appearance remember then uh, what and all is affected i told you head the eyes and the sorry the brain the eyes and the kidney mainly they will ask you so basically um, what is happening the fibrinoid necrosis thrombosis and uh, this can lead to renal failure okay then uh, acute kidney injury is happening we are calling this as accelerated nephrosclerosis this is the word they are using this is the impact of this malignant hypertension remember how will you manage it don't reduce the blood pressure quickly this is not an emergency they are saying you do a controlled reduction of the blood pressure over 24 to 48 hours to 150 by 90 mm of mercury which is the border borderline for hypertension right and uh, the you can just give oral drug therapy and reduce the uh, 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 blood pressure and uh, they are telling you can give uh, uh, bed rest but what which is the oral drug therapy that they didn't tell very bad what will you give for reducing bp they should have given that right they have not mentioned it so i will leave that uh, but uh, however the normal drugs we give is uh, amlodipine etc right so they want to reduce the uh, blood pressure okay so uh, orally so uh, they were saying that you just reduce it to 150 by 90 mm of mercury over 48 uh, 24 to 48 hours okay 
<coughs> so oral drug therapy is sufficient in this condition that's what we are trying to say